Welcome to this technical corner. We're talking about milling technology today uh, from Linsinger. Now I'm with uh, Ross Milne from Ram Engineering and Tooling. Ross, you're a supplier of uh, this product. Yep. Talk me through uh, some of this technology because it's quite interesting. Yeah, okay, so we're talking about the, the edge milling currently. Um, it's one of the, the biggest competencies that come from Linsinger. Um, basically, we're talking about large plates that you don't have another way of prepping the edges before they have to be joined together to make things like um, containers, uh, ships' hulls, um, wind towers, things like that. Um, what's happening here? Because this, this is something I'm not used to seeing as yeah. well in this area. This is The tooling, obviously, as you can imagine, is huge. Um, so obviously there's a lot of carbide tangentially mounted inserts within these tools. So what Linsinger have actually done is they've created a robot to do the hard work. So there's okay, a lot because of you're continually change. changing inserts if Absolutely. you didn't have a robot, wouldn't you? Absolutely. So this speeds up the process no end, I can imagine. Definitely, definitely. Basically, once you've machined your edges and your inserts are, are blunt or used, um, the, the machine will take it away, get rid of that tool, pick up another tool, bring it back in, and while that tool is lying out there, the robot's busily changing the inserts for mm. you. Um, looking at the size of these machines, they're, they're, they're quite extensive, aren't they? Quite Absolutely. big. Absolutely. Absolutely. It, it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. I mean, if you think about it, how long is a piece of string? Um, if you're trying to make a, a conveyor belt of material, then this can be as long as your shed is, mm. as long as your shed allows. Yeah. Um, so really, it's, it, it's, it's horses for courses, again. Um, with this sort of industrial application, is there a lot of competition for you in this area with this uh, Not product? really, not really. And the way that Linsinger work, um, they're, they're heavily into the automation side of things. So they're always doing things a little bit different. They're always going the, the, to the next step as you can see with the robot. Mm. Um, so by rights, what you're trying to achieve is accurate weld preps when you're edge milling. You've got to have a continuous web. And within the Linsinger machines, what they've actually got is they've got a copying function, which is basically lots of rams that come down on the edge of the plate. I you, know that from the video, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, you, if you think you've got a plate that can be up to, let's say, two inches thick, mm. you've got a two inch thick plate, there's no way you're going to press that um, while you're trying to machine it. To, so in order to follow it, what you've got is some rams that sit on the top and they follow the shape and that allows the tool to come up and down to create your continuous web. Right, okay. And these machines, where, where are they actually made, Ross? These are made in Austria. Right, okay. Yep. And you yep. sell these UK and Ireland? UK and Ireland, yep. Um, yep. 90, I believe 95% of all, the, all the, the plant that we're seeing here is actually made in Austria, isn't in, it? Austria. in their factory. Absolutely. Yeah. Bespoke Linsinger. The, the, the way that Linsinger decided to go was make sure that they have control over things so that they don't have a problem with innovation. They don't have a problem with design. They can make it themselves. They don't have to think, oh, I'm restricted by what this thing can do, this widget can do. They make their own. I mean, I'm thinking about RAM engineering and the markets that you service. I'm trying to think where you're going to be positioning this. Yeah. Shipyards, bigger industries. Yes. Yes, exactly yeah. that, exactly that. Anyone who's looking for that um, that, that larger manufacturing capability. Um, you tend to find this kind of company near a dock because they're making very, very large things, mm -hmm. um, whether it's containers, whether it's to do with the shipbuilding side of things or whether it's in, indeed for wind towers. And offshore wind is a big topic at the moment, so absolutely perfect. It's the right time for this type of technology. Good. As you can see here, this I'm doing the, the fourth edge. Oh, okay, yeah, so you're not just doing down the sides, you're doing yeah, the yeah. front, yeah, yeah, to comp yeah, I can see, yeah, yeah. very, very, uh, fantastic technology from Linsinger, you need to talk to Ross here at uh, Ram Engineering and Tooling if these applications and this type of solution is something that you, uh, you're in search of.